drink is over. Pro knows photo. Dot com. What do you do when you have a ton of images and you can't seem to find anything? Well, number one, you need to have a good selection process and a good folder structure over here in your, uh, as I scroll up to the top here, in your actual folders on your hard drive. You need to start out with that good folder structure. But when you have a ton of files, no matter what, the best way to find an image is through searching. And if you don't add the proper metadata to your files, your searches are not going to do you any good. So let's go over a little bit of that metadata, where to add it, how to add it, and we'll go from there. So first things first, when you're importing your images, you can add a title and caption and a few keywords all at the same time. I believe you can add a title and caption uh, at the same time when you're ent when you're putting them in. But if you're you haven't you've already imported them, they're already in your structure, you know, in your your Lightroom. Then you got to do it manually. So the first thing that you need to find is next to metadata right here in the uh, library module. You can choose this drop down, and you'll notice that I have a bunch of extra ones here. Um, but you can choose to show all of the metadata okay that's the first thing then you'll be able to show all this extra information and all the additional fields that Lightroom can hold that's first then the next most important thing is to fill in your title as well as a caption now a good caption for this photo would probably be let's bring it up a little bigger so we can really see it uh, would probably be say ever uh, let's say uh, tight photograph of a of an evergreen tree and its needles the photo has a great green color and a uh, let's say saturated blue background okay now if we were to search for tight evergreen needles green color blue background all of those things would come up in that search obviously all of that is very important because now we've described it very well title might be something a little bit more creative and it might not it might not be as descriptive so title caption number one now a lot of people will also come down here and fill in their IPTC data that's never been something that I have done personally uh, I find that uh, it's more important to stick with keywords and have a good keywording structure for your images uh, rather than worrying about this although some people definitely do need this and would rather use it so keywording how does it work well, we can fill them in one by one. All right, so we would say um, evergreen tree. And then we would say um, needles, green, blue, background. Okay, and you can see that they are automatically added down here in this keyword set and they're also added here in the keyword list okay let's go to a different image let's pick this one now obviously this is of baseball okay it's more of a baseball image so I'm going to create a single keyword calling it baseball okay there it's been added now I would like to create a keyword tag inside baseball and that tag or that extra keyword is going to be baseball glove and we're going to hit create and now as you see you'll have this little drop down and that keyword has been added to this image we can turn it off or we can turn it back on now this image is also a baseball image but there's no baseball glove in this. 
so we can just choose baseball all right and as you'll see that tag has been added to that next thing as it says here you can just uh, we could if we if this was baseball glove we can just click them to add and as you see they're then added and not now we can also use our painter here and we can uh, paint this keywords right here and we're gonna say baseball okay we're gonna paint it onto that one we're gonna paint it onto that one I don't know if I have any other baseball glove let's see keep going keep going there's another baseball but it's not baseball glove but that's okay that's another baseball baseball so all I'm doing is just clicking hey there's a baseball glove 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 okay baseball again we'll just make believe it was a glove in there how's that sound so now we can come up here and we can search by text and we can type in glove oops make sure I spell it right let's turn off this why are you not working hmm let's try it this way keyword there we can do it that way through metadata but I don't know why my text didn't work G L O V E is a case sensitive no file name oh I didn't change my file name any searchable field there we go now the, here's all the images that I have painted baseball glove keyword on so it's that easy for me to go back find those images and I'm done okay you can paint entire groups um, say let's turn this off uh, say I wanted to keyword the two of these images okay both of these images would be keyworded with flower all right and then say um, let's see hey there's another baseball image we can go back and we can just hit baseball just by clicking and um, portraits portrait 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 okay bam um, we're not gonna call that a portrait those are portrait okay so there's I can go through and find all of my portraits yes the horse is a portrait okay there's one alright and find all of my portrait images I think that's good I have a couple more okay and that's more of a product photo there so there's all of my portraits and now I'd say I just want to add another keyword list I'm going to create another one, say portrait, and I'm going to click create. Oops, I created it underneath of baseball. So that means I just need to click and drag it back up, and it'll be down here on its own. So all of those images that I selected at once were given that keyword, portrait. There it is. And by the way, when you see a little asterisk, next to an, uh, a keyword here that means that that keyword is only applied to some of the images not all of the images alright so I think that's about everything for today if you're having trouble finding your images start going back and keywording uh, this will be a great way for you to find them a great way for your images to be found on the internet especially through a service like Flickr because when you're searching on Flickr someone might search for baseball or portrait or whatever it may be or maybe you know something like this like green keyboard you know or uh, church in the snow or something along those lines and so any of those keywords that you're gonna add is gonna are gonna come up in those searches so it's a great way to find to be more social with your photographs Greg Cazillo fro knows photo dot com see ya